How to set up a wireless RGB or RGBW control system. For this example, we'll use a remote controller and a wireless receiver, LED tape light, and a non-dimmable constant voltage driver. First, connect the LED tape light. The tape light is connected directly to the wireless receiver. Connect the black positive wire on the LED tape light to the red positive terminal on the wireless receiver. Then connect the red wire to the red negative terminal on the wireless receiver, then the green wire to the green negative terminal, and the blue wire to the blue negative terminal. If you're installing RGB tape, you're done. If you're installing RGBW tape, you have one more wire, which you connect to the white negative terminal on the receiver. Now connect the wireless receiver to the non-dimmable constant voltage power supply. The black negative wire on the driver connects to the black negative terminal on the input side of the wireless receiver. And the red positive wire connects to the red positive terminal on the receiver. Now you need to pair the remote controller with the wireless receiver so that the receiver recognizes the controller. For this example, we'll use the wireless remote controller. This controller is capable of up to four zones, each with its own color or color changing pattern, whether in different areas of one room or in up to four separate rooms. You can also save up to three scenes per zone, and each scene can be either a color or a color changing pattern. First, touch the power button on the remote control to wake it up. Now, short press the learning key on the wireless receiver. Be careful to press it briefly. If you press it for a long time, it will unpair the receiver. Now press one of the four zone buttons on the remote control. Then, touch the color wheel. The receiver is now paired with the controller and assigned to zone 1. The lights connected to the receiver will blink to confirm pairing. If you want to set up multiple zones where you can command each receiver independently, just repeat the previous steps, assigning each receiver a different zone on the controller. If you're using Alloy's DMX Touch wall controller, pairing works the same way. First hit the power button. Then short press the learning key on the wireless receiver. If you're using the wall controller with zones, hit a zone like 1. Or if you're using the scenes model, hit a scene such as S1. Then touch the color wheel. The LED lights connected to the receiver will blink to confirm pairing. If you want to unpair a remote from a receiver, simply hold the learning key down for five seconds or more. The lights will blink to confirm the unpairing. With these controllers, you can also save colors or color changing modes. To save a color, First select a zone, then select a color from the color wheel. Long press one of the save buttons for two to three seconds. The connected lights will flash to indicate that the color was saved. To save a color changing mode, select a zone, then select a changing mode with the running button. Then long press one of the save buttons for two to three seconds. The lights will flash to indicate that it was saved.